Hello Leo, it's Lisa and I'm here for your June 2019 general reading. Now this is for sun, moon, and rising, so if this doesn't fit, boo, don't try to put it on now. Just go on and wait for the your uh, moon or your rising reading to pop up for this month. If this is your first time with me, welcome. Thank you so very much. Please consider subscribing. And then when you do and you leave a comment on this video, you'll get an entry into my May uh, giveaway monthly uh, subscriber giveaway, which is a $100 Amazon gift card. If you're watching this in June, I'm sure I'll be having another one, so do it anyway. We'll be having something else for June, don't you worry. Um, and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I very, very much appreciate all of your support, and don't forget to um, also leave that comment and get your entry as well. All right, we're gonna go in and get into the reading now that we've taken care of a little bit of business. So Leo, um, I want to go over what's in your overall energy first, and we are using the Star Child Tarot um, and then the Mystic Tarot for clarifications. Um, what are you holding back? What are you holding on to with the Four of Crystals? Uh, with the King of Crystals, this is what, you know, either you're being miserly with your money or you're realizing you should have been miserly and now you're shutting it down because maybe you've been a little bit too giving. Um, I think you're withdrawing and it's probably a good thing because you need to heal up and secure your bag. Uh, potentially you're finding a new love or a new love is finding you. But I'm telling you, Leo, you're going to have to walk away from old feelings. This could be a renewed love. Somebody coming back to you as well. Because we do have the oppression card, so this could be... Now, this is another... This is like the death card. Um, ex the devil card, excuse me. So this could be a Capricorn. Um, and that would um, actually, you know, go along with the King of Crystals as well. Um, but I'm not feeling like it's a very good thing for you right now. Uh, so this Capricorn could be, or this King of Crystals, whoever is represented, could be holding back from you. But I'm feeling like it's a good idea because I think this may have been toxic. Um, it could be an, another Earth sign holding back from you as well, but what have you. I feel like there's been some injury here potentially. Um, some deception if it's not a romantic relationship that we're dealing with. Um, but something has injured you greatly. And so let's look and see what we got going on for June. Now, coming towards you, we actually have the Queen of Crystals, which is more Earth energy. That could be a Virgo. It also could be a Taurus, or it could be our beloved Capricorns. We're going to use the Mystic Tarot to go on and get some clarification. Uh, but with this, so this is kind of easy manifestation. This is also telling me this is a time in June where really it's, I feel like you're getting your, your stability back. Things in some areas of your life have been a little rocky and you're getting your stability back. This could very well with the lover's card have been with the soulmate. Uh, or it could be a Gemini as well, but I feel like it's been somebody or people or concepts that have been very near and dear to your heart. You've held on to it for, you thought this was your life purpose. You thought this person was your life purpose. You thought the job was your life purpose, but it's hurt you. Some of this hurts you've brought on yourself, though, because you didn't walk away soon enough, Leo. Okay? With the Five of Swords, you've had contentious conversation, and this person could be a fire sign, but this person has been, or this concept, this has been in and out. It's not been stable. And so now the energy towards you is saying, could you please look at it? Because June is all about looking at our crap and owning it. I'm going to talk about that in a day or so. If it's not up by the time that we that you see this video, it will be up where I'm talking about the energy for June and the energetic shifts for June. We got to own our stuff. We got to look at our own stuff and say, what did I stay in too long? What did I give too much credence to? What did I give too much energy to that really didn't deserve that energy? Okay. Um, with the Ten of Wands, this is the energy you're bringing in. You are bringing in some burdens. Some of you are bringing in burdens. Some of you are like, okay, I'm tired of these burdens. Uh, I'm ready to let it loose, okay? Um, mm, I apologize. 
some of you are ready just to let it go and thank God uh, with the three of cups I know that this is like weird because I'm hearing two completely different storylines all at the same time but it is a general reading so bear with me some of you there have been a third party situation that you've been involved in you've burdened yourself with it you've kept in it this could be a third party situation where you are talking to too many different friends and probably not the ones you should have been because we had all of this before there's been a lot of toxicity running around Leo or you've been enamored with the thought of something and it's not, but there's, it's like you're torn between two or the person that you're in, involved with is literally in a third party. For others of you, as you move into this energy, you're like, okay, I'm done with all these burdens. I'm not trying to hold on to it anymore. And I'm really ready to let loose. And so for some of you, it's a time of celebration. For some of you, it's like, I'm not... I'm, I'm just not doing this anymore, right? And here we have the Ten of Swords, along with the Ten of Wands. There is a completion of a cycle. That's the energy that your higher self is trying to bring of being burdened down, of being lied on, cheated on, talked about, of having uh, thoughts and uh, patterns and ways of doing things that are harmful to you. Those are, it's, it's ending. But uh, with this overall energy of the four of crystals, I am concerned that you are just closing yourself off because you actually don't want to let it go. And that's why we got this eight of cups here. And I believe that this page of cups is saying you might be the one to give it another shot. You might be like giving this job another shot or uh, you had a, a some sort of a, a I'm hearing some people had a contract with someone, it didn't come through, um, or you didn't get a promotion, and but you're still staying with the job, um, but it's not fulfilling to you. So um, there's a cycle that's trying to com complete, and it's just, I feel like, you know, Spirit is saying, it's time to let it go, but you're holding on to it for dear life. What And what what is gonna be a, what could potentially be an obstacle for you is the Seven of Crystals. Um, you're going to see some harvest. You're going to see some harvest from this relationship, this situationship, this job, this belief system you're holding on to, whatever it is. You're going to see something from it and potentially be extremely stubborn about it with the emperor. Like, I'm not giving it up. And, and you know, I can, I, I can feel it from here. I'm not even live. And I can already feel some of y'all energy saying I ain't giving it up because here you are you want to put with the rose colored and the sun colored glasses on you just think it's going to turn into a brighter day I don't like to be the bearer of bad news but I'm just trying to tell y'all please let it go because if you don't let it go it's going to be your ruin literally this is what I hear and if this doesn't fit you go check your your moon and your rising because this is not going to fit everybody but there's a significant chunk of Leos that if you do not let this go it's going to be your ruin if you do not let go of this thought process of, well, maybe someday I'm going to get that promotion or whatever. They're not giving you the promotion, boo. So get the money you can get out of there and maybe find something else to do with another company. I don't know. Or maybe someday this person's going to finally come around. No, boo, it's not going to happen because they're not. It's it's not meant for you, okay? It's toxic to you. And, and Beloved is really trying to keep it from you and trying to help you purge. But you keep going back to it. Because of this sense of loyalty that this, 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 this does not deserve. And the ones that do deserve your loyalty, you're not giving it to. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight or today, whenever you're reading this. But don't kill the messenger and don't hit the dislike button just because I'm, I'm telling you about yourself. Hear what I got to say, okay? So you're looking at it through these sun-colored, rose-colored glasses, and, 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 and the more uh, you get little by little, you know, as far as a uh, harvest, the more, you know, entrenched that you're going to get that you're doing the right thing with the Nine of Pentacles. Well, let me tell you what's going to help you through this. The Strength card. That's you. How can you help you get out of this mess? You know how you can help you get out of this mess? You can actually be willing to say, man, I was a little bit wrong. 
man. I'd rather, I don't want to be strong and wrong. With the Knight of Cups, utilizing Scorpio energy, transformation, deliver messages of love to yourself. It is okay. It is okay to be wrong. It is okay to love and not be loved back as long as you understand the why. It is okay to go through a breakup. It is okay to be like, wow, I really got to look at how I'm living my life. And is it to the best, is it to my best ability? Is it to my highest standards? And is it really pleasing, uh, not pleasing? Is it really helpful to humanity? Am I really living my purpose? It is really okay to do it. And it's okay to change course. Ooh, the Six of Swords. Walking away from those things that are turbulent and going to calmer seas. Beloved, it doesn't get much more plain as that. Remember that eight of, remember this eight of cups that that was that was in our overall energy. It's time to walk away from these things, beloved. The advice or the outcome, if you choose to do this and you choose to walk in a new way of thinking, a new way of talking, a new way of loving yourself. You see, Leo, sometimes you can love other people so much you truly don't love yourself. Sometimes you can want to please everybody else so very much, no matter how much they hurt you. And no matter how much they tell you, listen, I'm not thinking of it that way or, you know, you're really not going to be right for this to do this or right to do that or you need to you know learn a little bit whatever the case is but you want to please them so much that you forget to please yourself you want to you want to be so you want to make them so happy that you forget that you got to make yourself happy first and you have the opportunity to have your whole cup running over your whole cup not part oh look at this with the ace of pentacles and the empress card right there you can manifest a new start, a new or a renewed emotion, a renewed higher frequency. You can manifest all of this, but you have to turn around. You have to do an about face and get real with yourself as much as you don't want to. You possess that inner strength to get real with yourself. You just have to decide you're going to use it. Okay. All right. Now we're going to. Pull these up and I'm going to get pull a, an Isis Oracle card for you guys. I hope that this was very helpful and that it resonated with you all. Please consider, um, you can go to heartofinspiration.net if you want to work with me. Um, the link is down below on an individual basis. And anyone that if you so desire... If you so desire to, um, you know, want me to come to your town, um, email me if you can get gather up a couple of your friends, four friends, and we can do some Reiki attunement, things like that. But we can do energy healing, all sorts of stuff. Just go to heartofinspiration.net. This is what I have for you guys. We have the dark mysteries. Enter the chamber of the dark goddess. And then the lunar queen, she of the celestial crescent. So they both came out, so I'm going to honor them both. So let me read them quickly for you. Bear with me. The Dark Mysteries. The Dark Goddess calls to you, calls you to her inner chamber where she holds a test and a gift for you. The test is your willingness to meet and release the fears within that have been secretly holding you back. That's why we had this four of crystals. You know, it's this fear of being disliked. I, I believe that's part of it, but the gift is freedom, peace, opportunity, and prosperity in all its forms. Will you accept her call? Your time for deeper initiation is here. When the dark goddess calls you, it is a life changing experience. It is not always easy, but the rewards for those brave enough to answer her call and enter her inner chamber are tremendous indeed. 
The rewards are a life lived more fearlessly, the gift of loving and being just who you are in truth, without having to impress or bow to another, out of fear of rejection. It is a more open and expansive way to live, and it attracts the bounty of the Dark Mother, her gifts of love, opportunity, peace and prosperity, well-being and wisdom. It takes a strong soul, strength card, beloved, to go through this test and into the um, liberation it delivers. But you are ready, dear initiate of the light. And then we have the Lunar Queen. There is a deep feminine wisdom that recognizes the importance of cycles of rest and replenishment as essential balancing to our actions of power and demonstration. You are asked to allow this replenishment for yourself, the Knight of Cups, remember? Now, trusting that you are in a cycle of creation, the Empress, that is about to shift into a new phase. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Release and enjoy the process without having to control or force it. All right, beloved Leos, that's what I have for you all. Now, at the end of this video here, you're going to see two subscription um, notifications. There will be one for Shonda Rise. She's the, my queen of astrology. And also for Will Brown's Cardamancy. He is a wonderful reader and uses many different methods and many different systems. Also, you'll see a, a link to um, heartofinspiration.net where you can go and work to um, schedule some work with me be it um, energy work, Reiki healing, and or readings, or a multitude of other things are on there. Lots of information on that um, website. Thank you so very much for being with me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love each and every one of you. Namaste. Bye-bye.